hey 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 welcome back to my channel today i'm bringing to you the perfect beef stir fry now this is so tasty and very very easy to make and it pairs so well with rice or potatoes without wasting much time let's just get started so first of all i would like to cut my vegetables and set it aside for later here i'm using some red sweet pepper i'll cut them into medium chunks i don't want them too small Next, I'll cut some yellow sweet pepper. This is just to make it a little bit more colorful. I'll get a medium sized white onion and I'll cut them into pieces. Now, I'll set this aside for later. So, I've got my beef here, and as you can see, this is a very huge one. With the help of a sharp knife, I'll just slice it up. So after slicing it, this is what I have here. Now I'll cut them into smaller pieces. If I take a piece, I'll divide it into about three or four. You don't need them to be so small. With the help of my kitchen hammer, I'll just beat up the meat. This will make it very tender. I'll beat both sides. This is what I have here after beating everything up. It's time to season this. I'll come in with some dark soy sauce, some black pepper, my favorite seasoning, some white pepper, some oregon, and I'll chop in some garlic. I'll put in a pinch of curry powder. Using my hands, I'll mix everything up. I'll make sure the seasoning is distributed evenly. Afterwards, I'll just set this aside for later. Now I'll get a big enough pan and come in with some oil. I'll drop in my slices of meat. Since I slice them into very thin pieces, I'll cook each side for about one minute. And don't forget we're doing this on medium fire. It's very well cooked now, so I'll get them out of the pan. I'll come in with the rest of the meat and cook it the same way. Using the same oil, I'll come in with my chopped onions. Next, I'll come in with my sweet pepper. I'll add some soy sauce, some white pepper, a little bit more of the oil. I'll come in with my favorite seasoning. And I'll come in with some red wine. I'm going to use about four to five tablespoonful of red wine. I'll keep stirring this for about a minute. I'll come in with about a tablespoonful of cornstarch. This will help thicken it up. And don't forget we're doing this on high fire. We don't intend to cook the vegetables very well. We just want to stir fry it. Next, I will drop in my meat. I'll sprinkle in about a teaspoonful of sugar. Then I'll come in with some water. This is about six tablespoonful of water. I'll let this cook for about two more minutes. Finally, I'll drop in some green peas and put off the fire. As you can see, our beef stir fry is ready. This tastes and smells so delicious. The meat is not hard. It's very soft and it's edible. As you can see, this was so easy and fast to make and it comes in very handy, especially if you're getting some visitors. This should definitely be on your holiday table. You are going to realize I did not add any salt. This is because the seasoning is salty and the dark soy sauce is salty as well so so guys i hope you are going to give this a try if you do let me know how it comes out for you you can send me pictures if you want and i'll post them for you 
so 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 guys this is it and i hope you like this if you did don't forget to leave me a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to share this with family and friends until next time i am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one bye bye